Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Insworth for Longmont Public Media. And today I'm dressed up strange because it's dress, teachers dress like students, students dress like teacher day. Tuesday, October 1st, new moon, nothing to see. The sun is kind of quiet, relatively quiet right now with uh, sunspot activity. Sunrise just after 7 on Saturday and sun set at 6.35 p.m. I'm waiting for this to go a little bit further so I don't have to drive straight into the sun in the morning. Drought conditions last week to this week, a little worse down I-25 and out in the southeast and eastern plains. Nationwide, a little more drought everywhere. Things are really quite dry in most places. This is going to get kind of wiped out, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Smoke is much better. Taking a look at this whole region of the earth, um, yeah, we're smoke free, which is surprising with the heat dryness and like that. We did get that one storm uh, last Saturday, Sunday, and uh, it had a pretty strong cutoff along the continental divide here, but did spill over onto the western slopes down south a little bit more. A lot of places receiving a half inch to uh, one inch. I was camping and did get slushy snow in the morning. That was an adventure and a lot of water is piling all over the place. So that's helpful. This is our last time to look at the animation for severe weather. Right through July you can see after July, it really diminishes the kind of tautology of this. And now it's pretty much only the place that everyone pictures. Tornadoes happening in North Texas to Kansas, the Oklahoma. Actual severe weather chances. This is a day uh, and a half before hurricane landfall. And then the hurricane comes in on Thursday. Right side of the storm is where you're going to get most of your um, severe weather. And then that will move up the east coast as the remains of uh, hell and uh, I think it's hell it was a Helene, not Helene, one of those. Looking at uh, big front down Texas giving them a lot of relief. It feels good a herd in Dallas. Then severe weather, flooding rains, everything down here in the southeast as uh, Helene comes in. I'm just gonna call Helene. Then the remains die over Kentucky, Tennessee and uh, just lots and lots of water. There will be some serious flooding problems there. Everybody should be uh, preparing that far inland for the water because it's just going to sit. It's merging with the low you'll see in just a moment and just kind of sitting and spinning for a while. Our normal temperatures, well, right now we're still breaking 90 and uh, 75 down to 70. So it's getting close to 20 degrees above normal. This is very hot uh, for this time of year. Uh, the last day we've had 90 degrees or more was, was October 1st, 1892. That's just a little bit ago. <coughs> and we're supposed to um, probably be low 90s on Sunday. So are we going to set a new late 90 record? I don't know. Well, it is not a record to talk about, but look how dry that is. There's just almost no precipitation chances at all. And there's all the dry air in the west the hurricane down here and the moisture out ahead of it. So put this in motion. Our story is this big high and this big ridge. And yeah, there's troughs that travel by and the ridge center kind of sneaks out west a little bit, but there's the uh, hurricane remnants coming in, joining a trough and not moving for a while. And now the ridge is more east-west oriented, but it's still a ridge. We have northwest flow aloft, but it's bone dry. Um, just not, <coughs> just not going to see anything for a whole while. Ten, ten to fifteen days with very little indication of rain or any storm systems coming in. Here's the high center right over uh, Arizona with the clockwise airflow. Air goes in the direction from the little feathers to the tip of these little arrows. Here comes the hurricane starting to loop over. Just kind of dances around with this existing low in the ridge. And so we stay hot. We got lots of reds and pinks, temperatures above normal. And there is there's a moisture cooling from the system, but that's it. And there's not much to say. Uh, moisture really doesn't matter for us because it's just too dry in the atmosphere. Dew points are in the 30s, and then these 
uh, 20 dew points start to slide in at the surface. You can see the hurricane come in again in the southeast. And there just isn't much to show. I'm sorry. <laughs> for, for the next week, there really isn't anything happening weather-wise in Colorado. At least there's no smoke, no fires. That's good. We'll, we'll go for that. But what you see here is what you're going to get. Next five days, there's your chance of showers down there. This changes each day, just little spots every night here and there randomly. Snow, nothing. Uh, next 10 days, same thing. Snow, nothing. So 80s up to 90s on Thursday, upper 80s for Friday, Sunday, low 90s. We cool down. Tuesday's the first, and we do get to 75 with that northwest flow. But zeros all over with you. I don't know if I've ever done that. Uh, it's just zeros. And the 8 to 14 days is not the monthly outlook. This is a week from now to two weeks from now. The weather surface is calling for above normal temperatures, way above normal, and way below normal precipitation. So, yeah, two weeks maybe of just nothing. Uh, here's Helene coming in. Florida Panhandle into Georgia. Lots of flooding here, and then lots of flooding here where it parks it. It's going to reach category two or three. I don't think four. This is this morning's forecast. And then rapidly die off as it makes landfall. This has been Chief Meryl John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.